It's true, a messy physical space contributes to the feelings of mental chaos and disarray. By carefully considering the beauty and usefulness of things in our physical space, and letting go of those that do not serve a purpose, can bring us joy and inner peace. For last year's room makeover, I attempted my biggest DIY, which is replacing my room's carpet with this beautiful laminate wooden flooring. At the same time last year, I also bought this standing desk. It's large enough to run two laptops on one single desk. And today, it looks more like this. Yes, it's that time of the year to declutter again. I mainly use my ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop to drive the two QHD monitors on my main desk. To the left is my second desk, where I have my desktop computer running two full HD monitors. This desktop computer is mainly used by my daughter playing Minecraft. It has an ASUS GT1030 2GB dedicated graphics card, which is not enough to run DaVinci Resolve. I'm using Hit Film Express at the moment for all my YouTube video editing, and I'm thinking of learning and using DaVinci Resolve. But first, I'll need to open up my desktop PC CPU and upgrade my video card to at least an RTX 3060. I'll talk more about that later in this video. The other issue I'm having with this desk is this. Yeah, the opening of the door is in the way, which is the reason why we need to sit with our keyboard and mouse offset to the right. Okay, moving on to the other corner of my room. This pair of white round tables are meant to have nothing on them. Maybe a box of tissue and nothing else. I don't know how all these things ended up on them. Finally, I have a desk behind my main desk. The idea is for me to clutter this desk so that my main desk is not cluttered. Well, just look at how full it is now. There are even things I have not unboxed yet because I don't have time to make videos for them. Okay, back to my main desk. So apart from decluttering my desk, I have some other issues I'm trying to overcome in my new desk setups and room makeover. My first idea is to put my laptop on a stand. I have this Haymax dual stand for monitor and laptop. So if my laptop is in this position, it will free up my desk space. This Haymax stand is compatible with any VESA 75 or 100mm mount. Speaking of VESA mount, my North Bayou dual monitor desk mount is backed to the wall. And as a result, my vertical monitor cannot be pushed back further. Is too close to me on my desk. The other problem is my 2.1 edifier speakers. The right speaker is blocked by the vertical monitor, something to adjust in my new desk setup. On to my next idea. I recently bought the Logitech MX Master 3S simply because of this. The horizontal scrolling is really good for scrolling video editing timelines. But when it comes to a multi-device switching, I still prefer my M720 triathlon mouse simply because the multi-device switch is on top of the mouse. This is why I have two mice on my table connected to the same set of computers. To save table space, I plan to buy the more compact Logitech Mechanical Mini keyboard. I'm still using the Microsoft number pad. By having a separate number pad, I can keep it in my drawer when not in use to reclaim the table space. By the way, this drawer doesn't come with the desk. I bought it from Amazon. It's one of those where we simply double-sided tape it to under the table. I love this type of simple yet functional designs. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description down below. In fact, all the products mentioned in this video are in the description. And this is my new microphone boom arm, the Twist Boom Arm S6 by Thorn Max. Rather than getting those over the monitor type boom arm, 
This is a low profile type where it folds to the side of the table. My current voiceover microphone stands on a tripod and occupies space on my desk. And every time I want to use it, I'll have to bring it here and plug it into my laptop. This is the main arm of the Thorn Max boom mic stand. So it's going to be here on the side of my table. And when I need it, I can just swing it towards me and start my voice over recording. And all this space on my desk will be clear. And obviously, I got to get rid of all this rubbish before I set this up. I'm so looking forward to my new desk set up. Now that reminds me, I bought this Waze Ambient LED light strip 6 months ago and I haven't set it up yet. Finally, I'm going to set this up. It works with every digital assistant, Google Assistant, Alexa and Apple Siri. I run both Google Assistant and Samsung SmartThings in my house and apparently it works with Samsung SmartThings too. The quality of the light strip feels quite well made. Up next, Velcro cable ties from Daiso. I bought this to secure all my messy cables underneath my desk. Oh, and I also got this $12 cable management tray from IKEA. And see this power socket? Sometimes I wish this power socket is not underneath my desk. It's so difficult to reach from the top. So, I got this desktop clamp power mount from Bunnings. Apart from the power sockets, it also has USB-C and USB-A charging port, which is pretty neat if I want to quickly top up my power bank or plug in a photography light. Okay, enough of me talking, let's get to work. As I'm clearing up and setting up my new desk, please take this time to tap on the like button below. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to my channel if you like what you see so far. You are watching Sky Perspective channel. So my first task is to move my desktop PC CPU to my main desk. Unlike laptop computers, desktop CPU allows us to upgrade the modular component inside. However, the reality is that most of us don't do that. Now, this time, I'm going to break that pattern. I'm going to upgrade my graphic card and keeping my fingers crossed, I hope the new card will work with my old motherboard and i7 CPU. I'm going to miss my good and reliable video card with such a beautiful heatsink. To me, it's a work of art. This time, I thought of going for the ASUS RTX 3050 8GB. And after comparing some benchmarks, I changed my mind to go for the 3060 instead, given it's just $60 more. And then, I read about this NVIDIA RTX 3060 8GB chips performs poorly. So, I'm going to go for the version 2 of the 3060 12GB version instead. My use case is to run DaVinci Resolve. And also, I might upgrade my QHD monitor to an ultra-wide QHD monitor in future. My goodness, setting up my desk while shooting this video is taking too long to finish. I'm going to jump offline and make part 2 of this desk setup in another video. In the meantime, let me know in the comments down below any specific items you would like me to cover more of in part 2 of this video. I'm so looking forward to see how my boom mic stand and my Wiz ambient LED light will turn out. The most exciting item I'm wondering about is how much more powerful the RTX 3060 graphics card is, and how that can speed up my video editing process. Well, that's if I manage to get that working with my existing old desktop PC. Subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified when I publish part 2 of this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.